For the past few days, I have become absolutely obsessed with powder. No officer, not that kind. I mean concrete powder. Because I think out of the hundreds of blocks in this game, it's really quite underrated. See, concrete powder is of course a gravity block. It falls down. But unlike gravel or sand, it's not an absolute eyesore to look at. So I started searching online for various creative uses or builds you can make with the block. But all I could find was a bunch of videos for various farms advertising redonkulous drop rates. 10,000 drops an hour, 18,000 drops an hour. Here's one from Il Mango which says 72,000 concrete an hour. My god, what do you need all that concrete for? Are you building yourself a wife? But I don't care about any of that farm nonsense anyway. It's never interested me. I've always preferred the wacky and weird redstone machines, which don't necessarily do anything useful, but are just kind of fun to exist. It's why I've always enjoyed making mini games. They exist for their own sake. So today, I want to show off my fun uses for concrete powder that I've invented. Let's begin. So when a block is falling, it acts differently than it usually does. So, for example, a powder block would usually get pushed by a piston as normal. But while it's falling, it would instead get launched way up in the air if it's pushed by a slime block. Now I've exploited this fact to make a powder launcher. Basically, using two slime blocks timed just right, it gives a lot of momentum to shoot it pretty far. I've also made this thing loop, so if it's given a large ammo supply, it just continues shooting. Which by itself is pretty satisfying. I mean, look at that arc. Mm. But this has given me a few ideas to expand upon the concept. For example, we can chain them together so one powder launches, travels through the air, and lands into another powder launcher, which shoots it right back. What I did for this is then build two men atop so they look like they're juggling balls to each other, which I think is a pretty cool and dynamic attraction for your base. Another idea for the launcher is to have a whole bunch in a row, launching at different intervals. I then have a space over here where the powder is then caught and then sent on a big feed tape back into each respective launcher. I then give each tape a set of three colours based on their launching intervals and what we have here is a lovely rainbow which is continually moving overhead in different colours. I can then run a path underneath so you can walk through and beneath the rainbow. Now imagine how cool this would be as an entrance to a base. Everyone's going to think you're a redstone genius but we can actually use the colours in different ways too. See, powder can represent physical items in the world. Put them with some trapdoors and you've got some paint buckets. Or put them between some terracotta to make a... Uh, yeah. But another thing I've made with powder is this giant rainbow wall. See, this powder will be lifted up and dropped back down to the bottom in a loop. But as you can see, each column has a different stack length. So the pattern will be continually randomized and will only return to its original state and get this, 3.5 years from now. That's not Minecraft time, that's real time. So once I flick this lever, there it goes. This will not return to this original state until 3.5 years from now. You know, there's something quite quaint about seeing chaos destroying order, like a cigarette causing a beautiful forest fire. One more thing you can make with concrete powder is this contraption I've made over here. How it works is it will repeatedly chuck powder out of this hole and into the air. It will then fall back down to whence it came, however each time it launches a different colour. So while utterly useless, like everything else in this video, it's kind of satisfying to just sit here and watch. Like a lava lamp, until I actually turn on the in-game audio and then you hear... So loud! Okay, okay, okay. But I've saved the best one till last. But unfortunately, this is not actually concrete powder related. It was originally, but I just couldn't get it to work. So I actually changed it for normal blocks. But, but it's really cool, so stick with me. I have made a working analog clock in Minecraft. So here we have this 5x5 five five clock face with an hour hand. And as time progresses, you can see it slowly update the time and watch the hand go around and round. This of course doesn't look that impressive, but as soon as I place it inside an actual clock tower, yeah, check that out. Pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself for this one. But what else is cool is it's actually synced to the Minecraft day and night cycle. So for each day, it'll rotate round twice, once for AM and PM, you know, like an actual clock. Can people still read analog clocks these days? This clock feels like I actually did some real efficient redstone for once, and not my usual style, which is held together by hopes and prayers. I mean, people keep asking me for a tutorial on Bowman Blitz, but I can't convince myself to make a video on this mess. I love concrete powder. Everyone always prefers the harder, brother, but you will always be special to me, powder. Mwah. <laughs> 